It's a scientific process that leads the scientific community to make certain conclusions. And if you accept, for instance, evolutionary biology, and yet you reject something like uh, vaccination, which is made from the exact same process. There are all of these scientists all over the world through decades of time, hundreds of years, uh, that have come to the same conclusion and have learned things about how our immune system works, how to prevent other diseases based off of previous efforts. Immunization is just the end result of the scientific process. Um, and you can't really reject the validity of vaccination without also rejecting the scientific process the exact same way a creationist does. There are any number of reasons why individuals do reject vaccines, and it's not based on science, again, any more than rejection of evolution is based on science. Sometimes it's against big business. Sometimes it's also for religious purposes. Um, but it's interesting how frequently they try to use science to back up their claims to reject science. A new anti-vax claim, at least for me, uh, that I heard is that there are aborted babies in vaccines. And so uh, they were saying, oh, you know, I'm, I'm Christian, I'm pro-life, I can't take vaccines because there's aborted babies in them. It goes against my religious beliefs. Well, it turns out uh, what they mean is there is a cell line that we use in research. So this is like uh, a workhorse cell that can do lots of things for us. Um, it's not something that just I as a virologist would use. It's something labs all over the world use for basic research. Um, and it's called 293T cells. And they're made from tissue from an aborted fetus but they aren't actually used in the generation of vaccines and, and it's, it's a research tool. Um, and incidentally, it's a research tool that has saved more lives than any individual one of us uh, on this planet could ever hope to achieve, but they don't see it that way. Uh, they refuse vaccines because of its connection to aborted tissue. Well, that's at the same time, not uh, also refusing all of the other medical technologies that have resulted from this exact same cell line, which is virtually all of them. Like I said, this is a very standard cell line. Um, so in that particular case, they're using religion uh, as an excuse to be anti-science. In my field, virology, uh, we are at a point right now where we have these killers um, these viruses that have terrorized humanity and you know our ancestors since the beginning of time. We're now domesticating them and having them do our bidding. They are treating our genetic diseases, they are treating our deadly cancers, um, they're giving blind children the ability to see, they're giving cancer patients who had two months to live their entire lives back. It's incredible. And we can do it because we have gained the knowledge to understand what viruses are and how, how we can use them to our benefit. I've got viruses to cure blind people. I don't need Jesus for that. I mean, I do, <laughs> seriously, I don't, I don't need a God to save me from cancer. It's like I know that there's a scientist out there working on a virus to treat any disease I'm, I could come up with at this point. Um, from Alzheimer's to, again, like there are so many different kinds of cancers. We're going after all of them. Um, and it's working. So I've got my viruses. I don't need a god. <laughs>